Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Dollies, and welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity Skyblock Expert Mode. Uh, uh, this mod pack is difficult and makes everything more difficult in case you haven't watched any of the other episodes, which you should. Last time we built this guy, guy um, and I figured out a really easy, simple solution to the problem of automating it. Um, right now I have plates in, I have plates installed, so actually let's get a full stack. Let's do like half a stack. Um, so yeah, yeah, all I really needed was really need for, to automate this, so all I have to do is put whatever I want in here, and it will go through the machine fairly quickly and get stamped, uh, and give me a bunch of good stuff. So we're going to do a lot of that stuff today. Uh, let's see what else did we else do we did some thumb craft research i'm gonna go ahead and get all that stuff claimed and we can kind of look and see what we can do next with that um, so let's just get all of this research um we need to get a lot of it so might as well uh last time we also did a whole bunch of stuff to get uh an avocado tree which is going to be the best way for us to get seed oil um Seed oil is going to be most important for bees, uh, getting more bees and getting hives and all that fun stuff. Uh, so might as well get that started and get something uh, somewhat more reliable with that. So so um, before we continue on, let's grab, I don't know, let's see, this is 918. Let's grab 18, grab this is a paper and our, and our scribing tools. And we can go ahead and start adding some more research. So in here we have pretty much everything. We'll get those two, uh, which will be very important later when we start working with nodes. Uh, thaumaturgy. Uh, um, most of the stuff we can just buy. We'll get the rest of them, and just get basically everything we can. Uh, we're gonna get, need to get a lot of researches eventually, just because of uh, unlocking a couple high high things. Uh, so we're gonna need aluminium, those, just get all of this stuff. I don't know that we need most of it, but might as well. And we can always get more researches later. So let's get this, and see these two as well, arrows. How many more do we have? We have five more pieces of paper. So. Um, I don't think there's anything else here. I'm scared to see. Scared to see. Ugh, that is that is terrible. Um, hopefully we can get the the trees a little bit easier. Mana infused artificial hives, and then we can make ooh, we can make nice resonating hives and um, unusual hives, which will give us some different bees to work with. Um, that's something we might actually have to do. And then we're gonna want this. Uh, Thomic tinkering, we'll worry about later. Um, what is uh, this one? Let's see if we have some stuff in here. Because we're going to want that whisper weed. That's pretty important. But I think we need to get to something we haven't unlocked yet in here before we can do too much more. So we can do golems, why not? Uh, Thalmium crowbar, why not? Doesn't, doesn't really help us all that much. But yeah, the runic matrix from the sky is going to be fun. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Why not? Transvector interface. That's kind of cool, but not something I plan on using. Uh, let's see. Let me get this stuff and some more B stuff. Okay, we're out of stuff. So we're out of uh, paper. So let's put all of that in there. Uh, I'll do all of that off camera like I have been, so we can say goodbye to Thomcraft for now. Um, so today, the main goal of today's episode is going to be improving our power storage. Uh, right now, all we have storing our power is this leadstone energy cell, which is 400,000 RF. But that means that these guys are working constantly and they're doing a little bit down here. Um, sending power down here to all these machines, but it's not really doing much. And then over here we have a bat box that has 40,000 um, 
EU, and it's not really doing much, and we're going to need a lot more EU very soon. Um, so we're going to change some stuff. Um, we did manage to make the nuclear reactor last time, and that's the main reason uh, I want to increase our power storage, is we're going to be producing a lot more power very soon, and I want to actually use that power and not let it go all to waste anyways. Um, because what we can do is we can have all the EU power come into a um, MFSU, which is the top tier, uh, and then have that being um, also sent out to our RF production. So if we need more RF per tick, um, it will use that. Uh, but I'll have a nice buffer in between the uh, EU production and the RF usage and RF production. Um, basically, I want all my power producing to the same batteries and kind of go from there. So we're going to upgrade this guy. That's one thing we're going to do. And we're also going to upgrade that guy over there. Uh, now, the bad thing about industrial craft is if we upgrade this, it's going to output more EU per tick. And that's going to explode most of these machines. Um, or it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to cause bad things. Uh, I believe the, center, the thermal centrifuge is the only one that can accept higher uh, EU, but that's about it. Also, I believe, I don't know if there's any tricks with the thermal centrifuge. I'm not super familiar with industrial craft. I always avoided it because of machines exploding, if I could. Uh, I've always liked thermal expansion, thermal dynamics, thermal whatever you want to call it nowadays. Um, a little bit better, but that is just preference. Um, so, some weird visual bugs that last one. Uh, so, one of the first things we're going to work towards is a hardened energy cell. Now, this isn't too bad to make. Uh, we're going to need some electrum. Uh, we're also going to need some bronze. So, let's get some bronze. I have plenty. Um, we're going to need a little bit of electrum. Let's do two. Uh, now one other thing, before we actually do that, I, I do want to go ahead and make the forest hive. Uh, so we are going to need shears. Uh, don't I have some shears? I should have some shears somewhere. Uh, we need to get some leaves. I know I have shears, because uh, I have those leaves. But we have an artificial hive. We can soak that in... Um, seed oil here in a moment once I find my shears. Am I blind? They're not on me. There they are. I I was blind. So we need eight leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Cool. So we need eight leaves. Uh, nothing too major. And we need to get a barrel. Um, we're going to put it over here. Uh, by the way, I checked on our uh, Surgis Quartz seeds. They're at about 15%, which is not too bad, but it could be a lot better. Let's put this here. Uh, the, the chest will protect it from rain. We can do this. And have a scented artificial hive. And now we can put this in the world, or we can just melt it with some leaves and get a hive. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I want to get some forest queens, um, because that is going to let us get more um, bees fairly quickly. Um, forest and uh, the meadows will give us the most options for getting more bees. Uh, it will give us common cultivated, and then I think they're used for a lot of other things as well. They're the most common bees, so I'm going to go ahead and go with them for right now. Um, hopefully, there we go. We have... Ew, ignoble. I could do it again. Uh, it's just a matter of doing this and getting some more leaves. And I think I will. I would like to get a pristine. Let's just get some more leaves. I believe it's just crafted like that. And pretty much it. So uh, one thing I did between episodes is I did craft six more culinary generators. 
Uh, unfortunately, we can't do much more in terms of uh, combining those. So typically you can combine the culinary generators um, or the generators of any kind so uh, into a single block that gives eight times or 64 times more power and it, it's literally just a single block instead of eight of the culinary generators but we can't make that until we can get a QED and that's going to require a lot of ender pearls uh, which we don't have and I think we're going to go to the end to make an end farm um, for Enderman to do that. I think that's going to be the best. All right, I have an extra ignoble. That's that'll be okay. Um, worst case scenario, we have an ignoble. If we lose one, we'll have another one. Uh, so let's go ahead and put the honeycombs in here. I'm going to put one of the forest princesses in there, and we're going to go ahead and start um, letting these guys breed and die and all that fun stuff. So uh, it's nice, so they're not going to do anything, but they'll they'll work in the background. And I'll keep an eye on them and all that kind of fun stuff. Hopefully they don't die. It's it's a chance that they'll die. It's not a high chance, I don't believe, but it's still a chance. So let's get back into other things. Also, I have all these uh, common treasures. We got an ender pearl from that, so that's nice. But we also have a ton of potions. I need to make another chest. So. Let's just make a chest for the potions and all that fun stuff, and we can just get rid of it. Um, let me do it right here. So potions can go in there, that can go in there. And we do have a golden apple, which is something we're gonna need pretty soon um, in order to go to the end. Uh, to get to the end, we need to make an end cake. And it's gonna require six ender pearls and two cakes plus the golden apple. Um, so we have the golden apple. Uh, we can use that and the cake sh we should be able to make. Uh, I don't think there's anything we're missing. And we have plenty of ender pearls. So we'll, we'll do that here in a little bit um, before the end of the episode. So, all right, this hardened energy cell. I'd like to make two of these. We can combine um, them with the one, uh, the leadstone energy cell we already have. Otherwise, we need to make uh, a little bit of glass and some lead plus redstone, so that's not too bad. So let's just take a bunch. Uh, we need four lead. Uh, we're going to need Envar as well, uh, which we have a little bit of. Uh, we might need to make more Envar. That's something I'll have to look into. Uh, if that's the case, it's not that bad. Um, we need to make, we need to get some glass. We do not have any glass. I had some sand. We can smell up some sand real quick and make glass. Um, and we also need, so if we have two of these, we need to make two of these redstone reception coils. Um, we're also going to need electronic circuits, so that's iron plates, um, just two of those plus the uh, copper wires. We're gonna need a decent amount of copper wires. So let's go ahead and get some of those um, cooking up, I guess, machining. Uh, we're also gonna need some rubber, but that's that's not too big of a deal. We have a tree tap, we'll go get that in a moment. So a lot of things that we just need to kind of automate eventually. Um, 22, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 32, half stack. That should be more than enough for now. Um, we can extrude that in the metal former, and that'll make a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of iron for us or uh, wires for us. So are those being used like almost immediately? I think they are. Oops, I did not mean to jump in there. Yes, these are 19%. Not too bad. Um, so the other thing we're going to need is bronze electron tubes, which is just some bronze in the thermionic fabricator uh, rather than the lapis. So 
Uh, one recipe of this should be enough. And we just need some glass. So we'll put the glass in there, it'll heat up, it'll use it, it'll make it. Let's go ahead and make one more set of those, uh, just in case we need them later. So there's that. Um, plus it used up all the glass in there. All right, so we're gonna need plenty of these. That's actually enough for right now. Um, that makes a lot of copper cables. So tree tap. Let's get some more rubber. And then we can smelt this up, get the rubber balls that we need so that we can make the insulated cables and the circuit boards. All right, so hopefully this is, we have seven. We're gonna need a little bit more. We're also gonna need another tree tap. That's kind of a pain, but that's that's all right. So let's just go ahead and put that in there. Uh, I don't believe I had any more rubber anywhere else. I believe we used all of it last time. Um, but just to make sure, I'm not seeing any, so that's a bummer. Oh well, let's get the glass, let's get this guy upgraded. And then it's the same recipe, right? Um, usages, yeah, so we just need to get the circuits and we'll be good. So um, two plates for redstone. Uh, we are going to need another tree tap, which is pretty easy to make. Uh, and yeah, I don't believe we have any more rubber. We're going to need 12 cables, which yeah, that, that's, that's not good. We need, we need to have as much of the rubber that we can get. Uh, I wonder this doesn't have any of the other rubber trees, does it? Um, not seeing any. All right, that's fine. Um, so, sir. Well, if I would have been smart, um, I would have gotten a lot of rubber out of that. Never mind. I forgot. I forgot I have an extractor. Uh, the extractor will give me more rubber out of the resin. Um, if we look at the recipe, so it's a one-to-one -one with uh, either balls of glue or sticky resin, or uh, an extract extractor will give you three for everyone. So yeah, we need to get more sticky resin. Uh, propolis will give you sticky resin, but I don't have any propolis. Um, that is... If we squeeze honey drops to get liquid honey, uh, there is a chance for it. It's like if, yeah, it's a really low chance. It's a 5% chance. Otherwise, there's a few combs that will give you, stringy combs are about the only ones that we're gonna get anytime soon. Um, but luckily that uh, rubber spot already uh, replenished. Three, that would be nine, that should be more than enough. So let's go ahead and get this done correctly this time. Uh, and we can get the upgraded power. So, extractor, put that in there. Um, yeah, once that is finished, we can make um, pretty much everything. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick this guy up. Um, unfortunately, that means we lost that, but that's fine. Uh, and we will... Let's see, we just need two more. And then we will get into some other stuff. So, there we go. Uh, we can make the two circuit boards. And there's those. Um... Oh, I do need more in bar. All right, that's fine. We can put this 
here uh, max output uh, let's see output from the bottom input from the top and then we should go get uh, some more invar uh, I do have enough invar that's the only thing I'm missing uh, that's why that did not work I forgot I needed a little bit more invar uh, because you do need to upgrade the uh, the frame as well uh, so yeah once we get this made um, we're not gonna be able to make the redstone f uh, energy cell easily for a while uh, I will show off why here in a moment oh no we, lo we lost all our power I think oh well that that stinks but whatever um, Output input. So we'll just do one of these here and then connect that with that. And this stuff should be getting power. It's the power is going somewhere. Is this guy? Hmm. I don't know exactly. Oh, a lot of the power is going there. So let's get our culinary generators up and running. Um, I have made a ton of uh, extreme chili. Which is super easy to make, and it's a it's a really good uh, fuel source for all of this stuff. So let's get that going. Um, Get a lot of this stuff put away. I need to eat. Uh, and we'll get the extreme chili going. Um, the only question I have about that is where do we put it? I guess what we could do for now is just put two of these guys on the back of them. And we'll feed each of them half a stack. And then on the back we'll have an input. For each and that should be where is all this power okay there we go so the extreme chili is providing 50 RF per tick for a minute uh, produces a little over a hundred thousand hundred and twenty five thousand RF so that's really good um, for as, as simple as it is plus with the mob farm I can just get plenty of bones go over there and make a whole bunch of it uh, and go from there. So uh, I'm going to put the rest of these culinary generators in here and um, we'll get into something else. So we don't need this anymore. Uh, let's go ahead and make the end cake real quick. Uh, so we have two options for doing the... Uh, we have two... Uh, we're going to need a bunch of buckets, aren't we? We're going to need three buckets. Uh, so we have a whole bunch of options for killing endermen to get ender pearls to get a bunch of other things especially enderium uh, we're gonna need a lot of enderium so probably the easiest way is to go to the end and kill a whole bunch of endermen there um, but we have to kill the dragon first in order to get back we're gonna have to kill the dragon so our options are a little bit more limited in that case but we can still work with it. Like, we can still work with that. Um, we're going to need sugar cane as well. Because it's two sugars, three wheat. Alright, so sugar cane. I need to grow some of this. So let's get a couple of pieces of dirt. Do I guess we'll do this over here in the farm area. Um, do something like this. I'm gonna just drink. I can't drink milk. Um, I just, but I can place it in the world. I forget about that. Of course, I just lost all of that water. Um, no big deal. I can get more. So let's grab some water. 
we replenish all that and uh, yeah so we could either go to the end farm Enderman there um, set up a, a farm with uh, cursed earth or for the time being we'll probably just use dirt uh, no we won't want to use dirt we'll want to use something that they can't pick up um, but we'll make just a simple farm and kill Enderman uh, all that fun stuff but then we're going to want to uh, we're gonna want to kind of uh, have all that stuff coming back so we're gonna want like ender chest or something like that to get all of that stuff um, my watering cans right over here so we're gonna have to set up a pretty big farm or we could just set up a uh, three tall area here a dark room like that, a mob farm that's three tall, and farm them manually. But that I think is going to be the bad idea to do, uh, just because Endermen spawn so rarely in the overworld. It's going to be easier in the long run to set up a farm in the end. Uh, eventually, we're going to have a draconic. Uh, we're going to do some stuff with draconic evolution, and that's going to give us pretty much all the stuff we need. Alright, so I should be able to... to sit here like this and have him grow. Um, so yeah, once we get the once we get to Draconic Evolution and start working with that, then it's gonna be crazy to get Endermen or gas or whatever we're gonna need a lot of. Um, but for now, I think just setting up a pretty basic Enderman farm. Um, We'll see if we can't make it automated. Uh, that's the only thing I'm not sure about. Uh, but if we can make it automated, then that is what we'll do. Uh, let's sleep, get rid of the rain. Because uh, uh, the biggest problem is power generation and uh, well, crafting things that are auto, just automatic in general. So I think one of these will give me three. No, just two. That's fine. I realize I have a bunch of sugar over at the bomb, the mob farm. I forgot. I'm really bad about that. Um, but we are going to need to go get some bone meal so that we can grow some wheat. But yeah, there is a bunch of uh, sugar in here. Oh my gosh, so many bones. So much stuff. I need to really deal with all of this. Um, it's on my to-do list. So let's get, uh, let's see, we need to get some seeds. Uh, now I could use this, we could use one of our fancy machines. I think I made it in this mod pack, didn't I? No, I made it in uh, Sky Factory. Never mind. Uh, I was going to use the Phyogenic thing. Uh, it's from Thermal Expansion. We don't have one, they're expensive because, well, it's a machine. Um, but. Let's just do this the old-fashioned way, by which I mean spam clicking stuff. So six, six wheat is more than enough. Uh, we can go over here and craft up our cake. Uh, can I just click it? Nope, not that. I just click this. Awesome. So we got the, the achievement, the lie. Um, let's get three more buckets of milk and we can do this again so pretty much once you have the end cake we're gonna want to place that down somewhere that we're not gonna mess with too much because um, we don't want to mess with it too much the, the way you use it though we're gonna need to get a few end pearls let's one, two, three. Uh, not in pearls, uh, eyes of enders, and we're gonna need to use those to uh, kind of feed the cake, and then when we're hungry, we can we can do more. So, oh, that would that would help. So that's getting a lot of power now. But all right, so we have extra buckets now. Um, we'll probably end up using those at some point, I'm sure. There's more sugar there too. Oh my gosh. Alright, so 
Uh, we need to grab the golden apple, and then we need... Uh, let's do seven ender pearls and seven blaze powder. So we have plenty of blaze powder from our automatic for, uh, sifting stuff down there. Uh, so let's just do this. And it's something like so to get the end cake. Uh, and then I'm going to want to place this somewhere where I'm not going to mess with it. So let's just put it right here. And then you feed it with the eye of ender. And then you eat it to go to the end. Um, and each time you eat it, it does take a slice off. Um, but that's whatever. So we got that. Um, I don't know that we're going to get to the MFSU today. But there is one thing I want to start working towards, and that is um, getting fuel rods. So if we want to get a whole bunch of uh, fuel rods, we're going to need to get um, empty fuel rods, which is just uh, extracting or uh, metal forming some iron plates. So let's do like 16 of those. Uh, we're also going to need to get some copper plates. So I believe it's extruding, right? Uh, yes, cool. So we'll just do that. Um, we'll go ahead and get some copper plates cooking up. And then um, we need to make a canning uh, machine. So let's get a stack of copper plates. We're going to want a lot of copper plates. Copper is very useful. Uh, we also don't need the bronze right now. Uh, so copper is very useful. So let's go ahead and get that going. And... Oh, yeah, so what we can do is um, once we get the canning machine, we're going to need two tin cans, which is ten item casings extruded, um, which I believe is rolling one piece, so that's fine. We'll just do that. Uh, so once we get the canning machine, um, we'll be able to make the fuel rods for um, I want to make sure that I'm doing this right. Um, we can make the fuel rods for the so rolling tin plate uh, for the reactor. And then once we're done with this, I want to make the, the quads because that's going to be the most efficient um, use of time and then it's extruding I think yes so we want to extrude these um, and that way we'll get the depleted uranium which will give us more uranium back and plus the tiny piles of plutonium and then we can keep doing it so let's wait on that um, in the meantime uh, what else are we going to need? We're going to need two electronic circuits and a basic machine case. Uh, I can make all that. So we're going to need eight of these. Actually, we're going to need nine of them. So basic machine casing. And we have the ten, case, the ten cans. Um, now we just need two electronic circuits. Actually, we need one more. I forgot we need two. Um, so we're going to need 12 more wires, 1, 2, 3, 4, and let's see, I need to grab the tree tap, we need two more copper wires, I don't think I have any more in here, I do have four rubber, so you just need a little bit more rubber, I can never get too much though, so I'm just going to process all that I can get. Uh, these do replenish fairly quickly. As long as you leave that little shape still there, um, they'll replenish. Uh, they don't take too long. It's just kind of annoying. But all right, so we got what ten? So that's gonna be thirty rubber. Not too bad. That'll be that'll be nice for a while. Um, we're just gonna need a little bit more copper. Um. I believe that's more than enough, but we'll do both pieces um, into the metal former once that's all done. So extractor, we'll get some rubber and we'll get the, the circuit boards and go from there. So 
Uh, once we have that, these guys require the enriched uh, uranium nuclear fuel, which is the tiny piles and the uranium-238. So let's put on our radiation suit. I thought you could, I think you have to have an empty hand. Yeah, you have to have an empty hand. Uh, now we can pick this stuff up. And we can make the, the fuel like so. And I'm gonna just put it back in here. Um, so we're gonna need to get more uranium. Uh, that is that is the probably the, the hardest part about this all is getting this tiny piles of uranium. Um, but we have crushed uranium coming in from our sifting. Uh, that gives you a pile every time. So what I can do is just get a stack of that running and hope for the best power wise. Um, I still have about a stack and a half left of this. Uh, as we start doing this process, um, we're going to get more stuff back. So it's not that big of a deal because this will give us the 238. Can I use that for... I can use it with plutonium to get the MOX fuel. Um, but the only way is to get this uranium-235. Um, so yeah, there's this is really the only way. But that's okay. We can we can live with that. Um, so let's get the uh, let's see twelve. Let's get the canning machine, and we can start canning this stuff. Um, and I think this is the right one. There is actually two canning machines. I chose this one because it seemed to make the most sense. Um, but let's see if we put this. It works. Cool. So this is perfect. This is just what we need. Um, there's another one that's a liquid f um, slash. There, it's a fluid slash solid. Um, but I don't think we need that. So pretty much all I need to do is wait for more uranium to process through this. Uh, it has to heat up. Once it heats up, it will go pretty quickly. Um, this is still maintaining power, luckily. And we'll just make a bunch more stuff. Um, so hopefully next episode we'll have um, an opportunity to make the MFSU and all that. We're going to need to make a bunch of stuff in order to kind of make this better. Um, but there's one last thing I want to do, uh, other than put that suit back. Uh, so let's head over uh, to our basement. Um, we're gonna grab this stuff as well. Uh, the last thing I want to do is we need to work on something a little bit different. So we just need to make some automation that's pretty easy, but kind of annoying. So let's take this water, we'll break all these blocks, get the torches. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an obsidian farm. Uh, we're basically gonna use a stone barrel and pipe in um, lava from our lava generation down below and pipe out um, obsidian and I want to fill a chest full of this because I want a lot of obsidian um, it's going to be necessary in the long run so let's just get a servo actually transfer node will work just fine um, since I have them might as well so we just come down here we have all of this stuff down here what we can do is we can put how do we want to do this so we can put this guy right here and we can put some cobblestone around it um, it's sheltered from the top so it don't it doesn't matter too much, um, but I think I might enclose it. And we'll put a torch up here just to make it nicer. I don't want to fall off. Actually, let's take that off. Let's put this here. And then we'll do this. So, oh hey, we got a modifier for a uh, pick. Uh, I'm going to want to use that to get some uh, 
repair on my pick. I think that's going to be the best thing to get. So we take an item transfer node. Does it have to be at the bottom? It might have to be at the bottom. In which case, we're going to need our jetpack. Uh, let's see. I think it has to be at the bottom. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this stuff is a little particular uh, with the sides you use and all that fun stuff. So let's set here for a second. We can break that. And I have 4%. So let's make this quick. Alright. Perfect. And we can disconnect. We can put a chest here and if we tell it to connect um, awesome it's putting obsidian in there so it'll make a lot of obsidian that way uh, if we want to limit it all we have to do is put cobblestone uh, like so so maybe we just want two stacks right now um, I think that'll be good just because we don't have infinite amount of uh, cobblestone coming into here. We need to make another cobblestone generator. But we have plenty of lava right now, so might as well do this. Um, it's going to fill up pretty slowly, but that's that's okay. Um, I think we can make it a little bit faster if instead of using these, we used uh, transfer nodes, but I really need to take this off. Um, but that's okay. So. That's going to give us obsidian. Uh, obsidian is one of those things that's just a pain to make. Uh, and we're going to need a lot of it for a bunch of different things. So let's go ahead and charge this jetpack up as much as we can. Uh, it's going to use a lot of our power, but that's kind of why we're generating it. Um, we have plenty of it here. I mean, this one's not even going right now. So once all of that empties out... Uh, We'll have a fully charged jetpack. Uh, the next tier, I don't think we can do anytime soon, but I think this will be enough. Uh, the only reason I want a jetpack is just to kind of play it safe. Um, so I guess the last thing we can do is kind of prep to go for going to the end. Um, we're gonna need some wood to get some more um, patterns. And I want to see so we need to make, I know we have the string pattern already. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna be possible to get, uh, so we have, I know we have the fletching, the slime leaf fletching, that's why we were trying to get this guy. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be possible for us to get a um, one of the fire spiders. So what we'll just do is use some normal string. And I am really gonna have to take care of this. Though. Grab all this gunpowder. Let's put the gunpowder in here right now. Um, I wish I could press this or something. I'll figure out what to do with all this stuff. Um, oh my god, that's so loud. What I might end up doing is putting some more uh, structure upgrades on this stuff and putting void upgrades. And then once I do that, then I'm gonna put some pipes and all that kind of stuff to make it a little bit more automated. But for right now, it's not that important. So, let's see. I know over here we have some patterns. Um, we have the string. Uh, we're going to need a tough binding. Um, and we're going to need the body. Yeah, we don't have any of the other stuff right now. But that's okay. So, let's get... We need the body for the crossbow and then the limb uh, and the limb is what I want to know I think I want to make it out of plastic so I have four pieces of plastic and I think that's going to be the best way but for whatever reason is there another plastic or do I have to smelt it I might have to smelt it which, if that's the case, that's okay. Otherwise, raw plastic, maybe? But I don't know that I can get that other than smelting this and then... Actually, no, there's another way. I can get it from smelting the rubber bars. Um, 
the rubber I can get but I almost want to say that it's I don't know how to get this so maybe hmm that's really weird uh, anyways we need this string um, I forgot to grab some of the string over here um, so let's do that I think it's three pieces that we need so we'll just make a normal string um, cross uh, bow string so there's that um, yeah I don't think let's see what happens if I try to put this in here does it start smelting no so that either means that I need just raw plastic or something else uh, let's get a piece of raw plastic Actually, let's just get four pieces of raw plastic. Um, just do it in here. And I'll see if that does anything. So otherwise, um, the other thing that I want to potentially do is we need to make the crossbow body. Uh, if we look at the stuff we can make that out of, uh, there is a few others that we can do. Um, but... One of the two that I'm kind of debating between, um, we could do manulin, um, that would give us durability, which would be nice. Um, we could do thomium, which would give us uh, extra modifiers, I believe. Um, but that's gonna require making thomium itself. But I don't know how bad that is. So let's take a look real quick together. Um, it's mana steel. That's not terrible, but it does require steel. Uh, and a little bit of magic, which, again, not terrible, but not the best. Um, so I think we'll use manulin for the body, but then the we also need for the crossbow uh, a tough binding. And I think I want to use um, magical wood for that. So that's going to give us multiple uh, modifiers. Magical wood isn't too bad to make. Uh, it does require a bookshelf, which requires books. Um, that we can do just fine. We have a paper tree. Uh, we have string. Um, we, we, even ha we even have leather. But the hard part is going to be enchanted books. Uh, now, if we have a decent amount of emeralds, we could kind of cheese that. Um... Actually, I think half a stack would be more than enough. It would give us quite a bit of magical wood. And is magical wood all that useful otherwise? That's the only other question. Ender cores, filing cabinets, wooden spikes. Wow. Wow, that's expensive. Um, gold spikes. So, okay, that's a little bit better. But you need a QED. So, it is useful. Uh, intercore is useful for things. Uh, yeah. We're gonna want that. That's gonna be a long time away. Um. And then filing cabinets, which are always good. But, okay, so magical wood is useful, but probably not that useful. You could probably get away with 16, I think. So let's get some paper. Let's see if we can't figure out how to make the plastic um, crossbow limb. Nope. So do I just need to get more or what? I'll have to figure that out. I will look into that. Um, and then I'm also going to need manual. So I think for right now, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. Uh, I'll probably get a little bit more prepared. Um, to make the crossbow and I've got to get some manual in for the bolts anyways um, for the bolts I think um, I'll have to see what uh, what people recommend for this because um, I think there's a lot of different options and I think getting um, I think we can do shiny yeah, we can do shiny parts. I think shiny is gonna be 
one of the best for the uh, the bolts but I don't know um, typically I would use Enderium but Enderium doesn't have any Tinker's Construct parts because uh, extra TC is not in this um, because they're overpowered so we're gonna have to go with a little bit different things um, so I'm going to try to figure out how to get the plastic crossbow bolt. Otherwise, slime is our best option, and our best option for that is pink slime. Um, that's arguably the best that we could get, but it's also kind of annoying to try to get. Um, so I don't know if we're going to go that path or not, if I can't figure out the plastic. Uh, otherwise, yeah, we'll, we'll figure out um, getting our crossbow next time, and... Um, then potentially, depending on how much um, I have done with the the nuclear stuff, we might do a little bit more. Do those only stack to eight? Something is not quite right, and I think yeah, it doesn't have enough power. That is, ooh, let's connect. Let us switch this to an output, and we're gonna put, we're gonna break uh, this guy for a moment. So they gave us two, we're gonna need one more connector, which I have, so let's do this real quick. Um, and then one in the episode for real, and I will get prepped for uh, either going and fighting the dragon, or we will uh, kind of hang around and do a little bit more of like uh, kind of getting the uh, the nuclear uh, reactor up and running. So let's jump over here and do something like this. We'll connect this guy there and this guy back down here and that should get uh, more power hopefully unfortunately these solar panels are not very good um, yeah it's not processing very quickly so we'll have to We'll have to boost power a little bit more um, for the time being. I should have some, you know, I have like stacks of coal in here. Let's grab, I guess I don't really have that much coal. I thought I had a lot more than I do. So we'll just put this in the generator and let this go for a while. And that'll help it out. So that seems to be a little bit more constant. But yeah, so I'll just need to power up all of that stuff. This is going to be reducing power. Why is it losing power? So yeah, we'll, I'll figure it out. I'll mess with that stuff and try to get some more uh, uranium for the nuclear reactor. Once we get that going, um, EU power will, won't be nearly as much of a concern. Um, but yeah, we'll get into that in future episodes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!